Good morning, good morning, and welcome to my Monday messages. Um, it's pretty wild here, weather-wise, very strong winds. So I hope that you're warm and dry and safe. Okay, so I am really buzzing this morning because I have just come uh, from a fantastic weekend. Uh, it's an annual event that we have with my QTT community. So all of us who have um, fully trained in QTT, we get together and we reconnect with each other um, and we share our skills, we, we learn from each other, we support each other, we nurture each other. And I had some of the most amazing connections in in just random conversations um with those um colleagues of mine that I hadn't really spoken to before um just really really heartfelt conversations and not terribly long but really powerful and um that's because when you're in that kind of community the filters are off. the The need for um, idle chit chat and meaningless kind of introductory stuff just isn't there. It's not. It's not needed. You get right to the heart of things really, really quickly. Uh, there's a language that we share. There's a, an energy that we share. And of course, we're all very different, and we all do different things. We all use our QTT skills. Um, differently. Um, and yet we all are connected and bonded. And the whole thing reminded me of the importance of belonging to some kind of wider community and the, and the things that it brings us. You know, I spent many, many years um, really rejecting those kind of uh, wider communities. And um, thinking that if I needed them, particularly if I needed um, groups of women, that that somehow meant that I was um, lacking, that I was um, weak, um, vulnerable, and that I, you know, that was not something that um, I wanted to show to the world, basically. That's so, so not the case now, I'm really happy to say. Um, I... I just feel completely like I've been plugged into the mains again, right? basically recharged, um, reinvigorated um, and reminded of a lot of things, a lot of values and a lot of um, boundaries that really serve me um, and also able to expand those boundaries um, in certain cases. So another beautiful thing that we do is, is share our skills and just test things out, things that are maybe new to us and that we're not quite sure of and that we're a little bit nervous of. Um, we can showcase these things in an environment that is unconditionally supportive. Um, it is it's also a community that if they think you're really not stepping into your light, then they'll they'll give you a little nudge, a little gentle nudge, or perhaps even a kick up the up the hole if you need it. Um, and it's all done from a place of love, and that's just so um, powerful to be connected to that kind of community. I'm very, very lucky in that I have my QTT community, but I also have a growing sense of this from the wider community in the Healy um, international community, uh, my little frequency device. Um, it's one of the things that really attracted me to um, the fact that it was uh, direct marketing, for example. I, I spent a long time being very anti that because I didn't really understand it, didn't really get it. And I, and I was exposed to some people who used it badly. Um, but when it's done from a place of integrity and it's done in this wider, sharing, um, supportive community, 
it's completely different and the energy is completely different. So I'm just um, stepping into that wider community. And I have some kind of um, smaller circles that I belong to, um, mostly online, but that still gives me a, a really good sense of support. Um, so I wanted to actually say to you all today, well, I wanted to ask you, are you already part of that kind of community? And I'm not talking about one-to-one -one relationships. Hopefully, you know, we all get that kind of support and that kind of nurturing and unconditional love from um, one-to-one -one relationships, um, you know, best friends, um, soul sisters, whatever you want to call them. But when it's in community, that is magnified. It is expanded and um, comes with extra batteries, <laughs> if you like. Um, and it's so powerful. And what you what we can do in a group is is so magnified and powerful and expanded as well. So I think we all deserve that. We all and and actually I think we all need it. Um, and it's something that we used to have many years ago, and we've become artificially um, unplugged from that. So I wanted to encourage as many of you as possible to, to understand what you get from that kind of community. And if you already do, fantastic. Please do share uh, in the comments what kind of community gives you those feelings or, or any other feelings that you value? Um, because I think there are people out there who are missing belonging to that kind of community. And it might give them ideas as to how they could either create it for themselves or they could um, plug into something that already exists. Now, that can be anything. It could be your family. In my experience, it's not it's not really ever really family because there are all sorts of um, conditions that are attached to that kind of um, wider community, but not always. So if that's the case for you, please let me know. Um, it could be a club. It could be, you know, like a hill walk walking club, a swim club, um, a tennis club. It could be a yoga class, a, a Qigong class. Um, it could be some kind of online community um, that gives you that. I know that my QTT mentor and the creator of QTT, Maura Giri, her wider community, Positive Recombobulators, I know that the members of that group feel that similar support and that um, ability to feel not judged and um, fully supported. So you can get that online if you if you choose to. Um, I think it's always put on steroids, as I said, if you um, if you can actually meet in person. Um, so if if that is something that you're lacking, then have a think about well how how could I start off that? How could I get closer to belonging to that kind of community? And you may have to try a few out before you really find your tribe. But if you don't try, you won't find them. Um, or maybe you're called to create your own community. We were talking, several of us, at the weekend about setting up a women's circle, an actual, you know, meeting in person women's circle um, for anybody in Kerry, in County Kerry, where I live. Um, and we were originally thinking of, you know, holistic practitioners who often practice on their own. And uh, it can be quite lonely if you're not connected to anybody like minded. Um, but it doesn't have to be. It, 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 a women's circle to me is a circle of women who offer support and unconditional love and connection and witnessing, actually, the ability to really feel heard and seen and felt um, by a group is really empowering and can actually help um, break down a lot of barriers. Um, so, yeah, maybe you're called to create your own women's circle. Uh, it doesn't have to be a women's circle. It can just be a circle because I think men need that kind of thing as well um, in a slightly different way. And there are actually, there were 70 of us on the weekend, three of which were men. Um, and those men are just 
like our sisters. Basically, they're they're brilliant, brilliant men, and we are eternally grateful for them choosing to be part of the QTT community. So I could ramble on about this for hours. Um, I'm not going to. I just wanted to give you the opportunity to share what communities you may already belong to that give you those kind of feelings, because actually they could really inspire someone else. And that's important. Um, and if you don't feel that you have that in your life, how could you get closer to creating it? Could you join something or do you feel that you there's something there that's blocking you from doing that and that you would like some support in removing that block and you'd like um, you know to have a chat about how that might be possible in which case um, do book a clarity call with me and we can have a chat about the best way for you to to do that and um, and I'll be very honest with you if I can support you I absolutely will and there are a number of tools that I have in my kit in order to help do that um, but if I think that actually uh, you might need you know the support of somebody else or um, you know, there's something really calling to me to say, actually, I think this would suit you, then I will do that. Um, so don't be shy to, to get in touch. That's it. Have a beautiful week. And if you are part of a community already, then maybe just plug into them and let them know how grateful you are to be part of that. Sending lots of love. Take care.